guys, I'm back. Um, like I said, I was going to roll out a bunch of videos. Um, so, you're going to see me wearing the same clothes for a while. Excuse me, it's the same day. Probably for about a week or two. A week or so. Um, I'm pretty sure I put this video out. Where I pulled this cute little thing out of the uh, trash. Well, the dumpster. And you know how chips are greasy? Well, it's like that wood, that like fake wood, whatever they call it. Like, I don't know what they call it. There's a technical term. I'm going to cover the back. I'm also I'm not really fond of that blue, looks like ceramic tile. I'm not. I'm going to measure the inside of this. Um, Karen, White Witch 110, sent me some stuff. I'm going to use some of these butterflies. And in some scrapbooking stuff that I've had for a while, I've got this. It's really, really pretty. I'm going to use this in the inside. I'm going to cover the back with this blue, which is a nice contrast. And I'm going to repurpose this to something that I like. And get to work on this. I'm going to pause this, bend you down so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, it won't let me zoom in while I'm still doing a video, so we'll just have to go with the flow. Put my eyeballs on my face so I can see what I'm doing. And this is kind of pretty, but I'm not into this. So, um, like I said, I'm going to cut this to fit. I think it goes this way because this is like a little skeleton fish. He's really, really, really cute. Um, I'm, I'm just into that kind of stuff. I am kind of a Halloween person, so I'm going to measure the inside of this. Look up this straight across. Of course, you know, it can't be exact. It is between the 7 or the 6 and 5 eighths and six and three quarters and it can't even be like so I'm gonna go by where my fish is because I want this fish to show so I know that I have to have him in the picture and I kind of finger marked where this is and I'm gonna kind of make sure he's kind of centered in the picture and kind of know where I'm going to be. I'm going to pause you while I get a pen. It wasn't hard, they were right behind me. And I'm going to lay something firm down across this because I don't want this to wiggle and jiggle. to hold this in place a little better. And I'm going to mark and mark. Let me finish putting my marks down and be right with you. Okay, I wanted to show you. I measured in from each side. It was at the quarter inch mark on this side. It was at the one and a quarter inch mark on this side. I measured them and I marked up higher and then I drew a straight line. Now because I measure from here all the way to this edge. And this way I can slide it up underneath these little pieces that are hanging down. So I'm going to go ahead and measure that and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so what I did was I went ahead and measuring this is matching up my line with the cutter. I'm always afraid of getting it wrong. That's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this piece. Then I'm going to put it on the inside. And when I get this on here, I notice that it's not exactly perfect. And it is way, way off, guys. Way off. Even though I measured it twice, it doesn't fit. So, the part that I cut off, on this one side, it's too long and it's too... 
so even though I measured this like a couple different times and then measured my measurements before I cut them and marked them out and cut them, I was off. And I don't know if you can see that. I actually had to cut the one side another piece to put in there. I don't know if you can see that until I get really close. There is going to be a seam. I'm going to go ahead and glue this in, and I'll be right back with you. So I went ahead and adjusted my lines, made sure that I got the back correct also, and I'm going to go ahead and line it up, and I'm going to hot glue this down. Now I've given the back a whole new cover. It looks nice and fresh, and look at the front. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add the butterflies. I've decided to go with this one, and I think I'll put it right about here. And these are the 3D butterflies. So I can lift up this top one and give it a pinch, like that. And I think I'll put one more. Because of the colors, I think I'm going to choose this one and have him, I don't know, maybe coming up here or just put him up here. I don't want him down there with the fish. I think I'll just have two of them up here. And we'll pinch him up also so he looks like he's flying. And I've repurposed this that I pulled out of the dumpster. I can now hang my keys in my room on the wall where I can find them easily. Um, or anything else that I need to locate in a hurry. Now let's get on to the rest of this. Um, what I was going to work on. Okay, so what I have out is I'm going to work on my big witch's broom. Um, the cinnamon brooms that you get at the Dollar Tree. I have these from Walmart, a kind of a cream color with a black in the middle. I also have the black roses, the red and black flowers. I got these pick also, this pick also with the black and gold pumpkin. These came from the Dollar Tree. I wish I'd gotten more of the um, 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 cattails, but I didn't. And then I have some fall leaves. And I'm going to start with just these. And I'm looking for my wire. I may end up just using um, black, um, whatever you call it, pipe cleaners for right now. So let's get to work on this. Okay, I want you to know that because I know I'm going to use certain things, I'm going to go ahead and clip off what I'm going to use. I'm going to use this, and I know I'm going to put this facing downward, so I'm going to kind of set it like that. I know I want to use this, and I know I'm going to use one black rose at least. So I'm going to clip it off and leave a good amount of stem, because all these are going to be attached with their stems. And I'm still debating on whether I'm going to use these. The cattail, I know I'm going to use at least one. And I'm going to want some of the, um, one of the leaves that come with it. So I'm going to push the leaf up on the cattail so that it has it. And I'm going to cut below that so I have the whole stem to that. And that I know I'm going to use. I'm still debating on the fall leaves and the white flowers. I may use one of my purple flowers. But this one has been cut completely off, so I may not use this one. Unless I put it back on a stem, which I can easily do. Because I didn't cut it, I plucked it. So, whenever you can, keep the stems. You can also use these stems 
when you're making things, you can bend them and make them into trees, twigs, whatever you need to make them. Make fences with them, all kinds of stuff. Um, I'm not sure if you can gather up what you're going to use, put them together, and give yourself kind of an idea. Is this going to work? Is this feasible? You know, what sounds good in your head may not look good when you get it done. I mean, that's not exactly how it's going to lay, but um, it definitely needs a pop of color. We're going to add the cattail to the mix, probably right down the middle here. like that, so you can see kind of what I'm doing, and yeah, it definitely needs a little bit of a brightness, um, I think the fall leaves, I don't know, maybe if they were down here, I don't know, with the black leaves, they don't look right, I think I will add one white flower to the mix. So I'm going to clip off just the flower because these leaves don't match what's there very well. So I'm going to clip off one white flower and give him plenty of stem. And then I'm going to work these in together and I'll be right back with you. I wanted to show you kind of how that's going to look when it gets put together so you can see where I'm going with this. So you can see the process. Normally I would do this with um, crafter's wire or um, what do you call it? Flower, um, you know, people that do floral, floral wire. But I bought some and I'm not sure where I put it. So we're just going to Put it around there, give it a wrap, and you see where these are down here? We also need to make sure that we get them wrapped down tight also. Come back up and wrap back around. Come back to where our original piece was that we twisted and twist again. You want this all wrapped and twisted as tightly as possible on the back side. Now this was a full piece of um, that. Now I could take my flower and I could push him back down where he needs to be now that this is all together. Pushing push him back down and hide that. We will glue this all from the back side, not from the front. And we could probably push everything easily. And this can also bend a little bit. I'm going to push probably my purple flower down a little. So he's giving the white flower a little more room. That gives the black rose a little more room to come down. And that gives everything a lot more room to be visible. Now, I'm going to take a small piece. I'm going to come up here higher on the back. And I'm going to wrap a small piece up here where all this taller stuff is around it. And give it a good tight squeeze. Whoops, I lost it. Stick it through there where the taller stuff is. Now that you got everything where you want it and give it a good tight little squeeze and twist. This helps hold all the taller stuff in place and you can bend this back down also. So there is the spray that will be fastened to this broom like that. Now at this point you can add ribbon or not. Now my broom when I got it 
This was not dead center, lined up with the bottom of the broom, but you can slide this. It takes some effort, but you can slide this hanger thing here. Let me set this down. You want to make sure that the flat part of the broom is lined up with what they're hanging with. Let me look at it like this for you. Here's the flat part of my the flat part of my broom. Here's my hanger. They line up. So when I go to put this on, I want to make sure that this is going to go on where I want it to go. It's going to go on right like this. Now, to fasten this, I want to use twine, not a pipe cleaner. Let me go get my twine. Now, I have my ball of twine. It comes from the Dollar Tree, so it's not real bulky, and that's kind of what I want for this. I'm going to take a very good length of this off to work with because it was only a buck a roll, and I can afford to... Um, have a good size length. I want to first attach the twine to my little bundle I've made. And the reason I want to do that is it's easier because then I know my twine is, is fastened to it and I want to leave a good size tail so that I can come back and tie fast to it. So we're going to knot it down I decided not to hot glue this together because it's going to have plenty to hold it down. Now I've got my broom laying flat. I'm going to decide where I want this laying on my broom. I don't want it way at the top. It doesn't look right. I want it laying kind of so that the bottom of the spray I made comes to about where the broom starts to get good and wide. So I'm going to grab my excess string up in my hand and I'm just going to start by wrapping and holding. I'm going to put one finger holding down my spray and I'm just going to start bringing this around and I'm going to wrap it. I'm going to come up underneath my flowers where it can't be seen, weave it underneath the, the um, leaves, push them back up in, And then come back around where I started and I'm going to want to tie this off right here so that it's snug. I'm going to pause you while I tie. Okay, why I do that is because it ensures that the bottom half is going to stay put and I have a moment to readjust it if I need to at that point. Because once you start actually physically putting this down in place and you get everything done you don't want to have to go and have to redo everything. If you mess up up here, you have a knot here and you only have to undo one part, not the entire thing, and start all over. So we're going to come back. We're going to wrap one more time where we were. Come up a little higher. Wrap just above this red and black flower. Weave it between all that. I know it sounds complicated. It's not really. We're going to work our way between all these flowers and leaves. Getting down to the stem. If you can see what I'm doing, I'm getting down to the stems. Coming all the way over, lift all the flowers petals up out of what you just did so that they're not trapped. 
kind of trapped his petal. And you'll know if you've trapped a flower because you'll see it pull. You can reach down in and loosen it. And that's there. Lay it down and look and see where's my hanger. Is it still laying flat? Is the flower still on top like it should be? And it is. And I'm going to go up above the black rose. But I'm going to make sure I weave around the cattail so that I don't actually cut across the cattail because then that will look terrible. And weave all of that down. And then I'm going to come back down to where we started and knot that back in. And this should all be on there snugly. So I'm going to pull it snug and I'm going to, I'm right back here where I started and I'm going to tie this tightly like three or four times right here. I'm going to show you where I'm back at where we started. I'm going to tie this. Give it a good tight pull. And I'm going to make sure there's my thing. There's the back of my broom. It is in the front of my broom. It's on there straight. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't need to be. It's for you. It's how you want it. And I really like how this turned out. Now you can take time to adjust any flowers because they are on metal wire. You can bend it a little. I'm going to bend this little white one so he sticks forward just a tidge. Bend my purple one so he sticks out to the side a little bit. And I will show you how he looks at the very end. So I'm going to clip this. Trim it all down. I don't have any ribbon. So I'm going to hang this up. I'm going to show you guys what this looks like at the end. Okay guys, I wanted to show you this. Um, and there is how it looks. You draw back so you can see the whole thing. That is my witch's broom, the cinnamon brooms from the Dollar General using some Walmart flowers, the Walmart pick, um, stuff from the Dollar Tree. Um, let's see, that one's the Dollar Tree. Um, can't remember which ones are from Dollar Tree, but... Dollar General, Walmart, you know, a little bit of everything. So, there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching.